Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. So I uh, got a few suggestions about what I could do in this situation, and to be honest, I have thought about all these possibilities. Uh, the first possibility was uh, building a bridge across water. I have thought about that. I have also thought about my previous experience with building in this game. And my experiences are generally you don't want to build anything too big or too long, or you could be having issues with it. Uh, another suggestion was to dismantle the rover and everything that's in it and take it with me and fly across the water till I'm back online and rebuild everything. I thought about that too, but I wasn't sure if I, I was actually going to have enough room for it. And, uh, yeah, and then I had an idea too, and I don't even know if it's even doable. i got to hop out here and see if I actually have the blocks for it. Uh, and I don't, apparently, so that was my idea out of the water. My idea was to make a barge using floating foundations, use the old cheaty drive on it, and boat my car across the water. But that's not going to happen. So, what? another suggestion, and this is, again, something else I did think about, and I was sort of thinking about actually doing it, but heading back to where we started and looking for more wrecks. Uh, if I can actually find my way back, I seem to be have to get over there and I just have absolutely no idea where to, how to get there. Uh, it's been a few days since I actually played so I can't remember how I got myself into this situation, how I got around. Uh, I know I didn't drive through the water because driving through the water it doesn't work too well anymore. Uh, it does it does if you're only going through a little bit but if you're going through like really deep water, no. Like I said, uh, it was the last episode or the episode before? It was the last episode. I spent probably half an hour trying to get my car rover out of the water. Oh, that's a hole there. Uh, if you haven't been back in the days of Planet Nomads, something like that right there was common, except it went down for a very, a very long way. Lost your car in there, lost your rover in there, you're not getting it back. And I just took out a tree. Cool. The cows can walk up walls, or down walls anyways. But now i got to figure out how am I to get back like I'm not that far away it's just a matter of getting across here but how did I do it I don't see anything over there I don't see anything over that direction I think I came from this side so yeah that is the plan that we are gonna head back to well we're not too far away we're literally like a kilometer or so away but we're gonna head back into this area do a little more Exploring around here because uh, apparently I should be able to find solar panels and radar and maybe a few other things in the area So anyways, I gotta get this thing through some of the worst terrain. I've seen since I started playing the game And with that I'll meet you when I get back Again as I was talking talking about with uh, the terrain around here. It's certainly something I don't know if this is the way I went. I'm actually thinking, starting to think I went down across the coastline there. Oh, oh, I'm sorry I didn't see you there. I do see the fireflies. Uh, unfortunately, that wasn't the first time this has happened. I uh, kind of took out a whole family earlier uh, after I recorded the other segment there. I was able to scan the nest, and I do have some of their meat on me. I also have two of the serval parts, too, for the trophy. I know we've got a long way to go before we can build it, but we'll get there eventually. I think, if anything, the one I'd be more looking forward to, other than the Godillo, is the brands. Because I hate those little buggers. Alright, climbing up the hill. Oh, that's because i am got a hitchhiker. So anyways, it is getting dark again. I do not have any more sleeping bags, so I'm going to keep on trucking and I will bring you back at the base. Okay, here we are. We are back. Uh, unfortunately, I did have a bit of a bit of an incident where I ended up upside down in a hole, which is uh, nothing new for me. And look at that, the lights come on. Perfect. Too bad I can't actually get out of the car on the platform. I'll have to expand, expand this a little bit, but this car is just temporary anyways. Uh, oh, yeah, there's some stuff in here I need to take. I'll take those out and we'll leave the supplies in there for now. Uh, let's head up the food and drink machine. Check out our check out our new sustenance. All right, so I'll put that in there. Now, what was the nutrition capsules? Uh, just fruit and that. Okay. 
Oh yeah, we need the, the regular food and drink machine for the, the super food. But that's fine. Oh, it's two for one. Ew. I'll throw that in there, let that finish crafting. We will undo the Oh make seven of those. That's about all we can really do. And yeah, I need some water. We'll drink some water. We'll wait till we get some of this delicious nuts made. Mm, sure. I was going to wait for the meat, but this is fine. Alright, uh, let's check on the greenhouses here. I've been gone a few days. I want to see how these are doing. Still trucking along. Takes absolutely forever for it to go. And these are slowly producing. Okay, so right now I do have the car on the charger, so it's going to be charging. I have no idea where the batteries are right now. Uh, 40%. Oh, good thing I came back. So, what I'm thinking about doing now, there's two ways I can do about this. Go about this. I can uh, head up north. I can go see what's up there. Or, what I'm thinking is maybe going east because I went west and I found these two. Maybe if I go east, I'll find some others. And that's that's what I'm hoping for, anyways. I'm actually curious to see what the draw on this is right now. A hundred percent, really. Wow. So when I have the rover plugged in, it's just enough. That's crazy. Anyway, uh, I shall be here a little bit. I'll do a bit of a rest stop, get my stuff together, and uh, I'll meet you back when it's time to hit the road again. Turns out I was wrong. I do have floating foundations. I just, I just didn't see them. The only problem is, though, is I can't actually make them. It's only Mark, f Mark 1 fabric, but those Mark 2 composites, I think I need cobalt for and honestly, I don't think I have any. No, no, let's go check this out. Printers are over here. Uh, I'm starting to regret making this place so big, but I'm sure I'll be thankful once everything starts filling in. I could actually make that. But except for the fact that I left it all here, so that wouldn't have done me any good. Uh, let's actually see what they cost. Oh, you can't even make them in here. Hmm. All right, well, that is fine. Uh, Rover's charging up pretty fast here. We're up to 48%, so that's not too bad. Uh, I am curious, though. So, like, I almost want to... How am I doing for thirst? I could actually use some more water. I guess I was pretty thirsty, or I just didn't drink. But let's let's just run over this way. Why not? Uh, yeah, we'll... Go half a K, see if anything shows up. Uh, hopefully nothing will actually try to attack us or eat us or swarm us or do the things they do. And we'll pick up some, grab some fruit along the way. Fruit, seeds, biomass, all the fun stuff. Okay, so we're going to head straight east and... Kind of wonder, makes me wonder if it's going to be two kilometers before you actually see anything. I'm not too sure, but it's always good to look around. You never know what you're going to find, right? Uh, what would be interesting if they actually, the developers added unmarked wrecks. So, you, you know, you get the, the distress calls and the SOS beacons and all that stuff for, for the wrecks that they have on the planet. But would it be something if you could just randomly find structures or ships or... Anything, just you know, just strolling along, and you find, <laughs> you know, the the behemoth from Flax Industries just laying out on the ground there, basically a chain of, jeez, I don't know, he's got like two hundred giant, uh, large suspension and large base wheels on it. All right, take it for a free ride. All you'd have to do is just like replace a generator or, or something. Yeah, nothing showing up, and like, look at this terrain. This is terrible for. The area that we're at, it's almost, to be quite honest, it's almost easier just to fly. I'd take the jet back. You know, it's so hard to drive in the, these conditions, and every nomad out there knows that, that the early days of wheels are the worst days ever. Those guys don't actually hurt as much as I thought they would. I had a bit of a run in with them, and yeah, they took out a little bit on me, but there's nothing I couldn't handle. Oh, this might be a stupid idea. 
No, we're good. We're good. Ah, oh, perfect. See, this is what I'm talking about. I cannot drive in this stuff. I've had to tunnel my way out. I've had to dig out ramps so I can get over this stuff. And just no fun. That'd be a. It's just a waste of resources having to build roads everywhere. Not that I'm saying I don't plan on building some some sort of infrastructure. Like eventually, I do, I will look at getting some sort of monorail system going on. Uh, especially if we're gonna have to be doing like off-site mining that will have to be mobile, just because of the the ore depletion. And I'm aware I can turn that off, but where's the fun in that, right? Hmm. How far did we go? Not very far. I think we'll go up to this hill and then uh, see if we find any goodies. If not, I'll try to work my way back safe. Can I scan you? Have I scanned you? Yes, I, I've scanned you already. But I haven't scanned the nest. No, I haven't. I got the cerebral nest too while I was there, so I thought I'd take this one, these guys. They're passive. They're, they're cows. They're, uh, synthesized cows, too. And they are cows. They're <laughs> resemblance to animals on Earth. That's cool. What? What are you talking about? Could really hear that voice. Barely hear that voice. What was that all about? Suit AI been updated. Oh, is it because I scanned that? I don't know. Let's see if it says anything in the journal here. Uh, yeah, I see nothing. Interesting. These are all the scans from since I started. Task finished egg hunt. Egg hunt. Oh yeah. Playing that. Unless this is something that happens as I scan more things. Because it happened just after I scanned that nest. Which gives me more knowledge. I'm not too sure. I'm sure if I looked, read the journal and all the information that's in there, I might actually find the answer to it. But it's easier just uh, to go with the flow and see what happens. But yeah, I'm not finding anything this way. We do have a bit of a route we can drive. I just have to stay on this side here. But other than that, doesn't seem to be too much. Uh, might have to go north, maybe not, but it's looking like I'm going to have to go two kilometers either way, no matter which way I go, to find new wrecks. Now, this is perfect driving area. Anyway, I've been rambling too long. I'm going to head, head back, and the uh, rover should be charged, and I'll bring you back when I find a wreck. Okay, I'm back. I had to actually make sure I was restu actually recording, because uh, sometimes I hit the wrong button. But anyways, uh, yeah, I decided to... Charged the batteries, got some food, and I started heading east, and we didn't go very far. It seems like they seem to be clustered around three kilometers apart, which gives you an idea of how big the map really is, and another one just showed up, so maybe we'll be lucky. Who knows? Uh, also, too, I was wrong about the bees. <laughs> the bees do hurt. Uh, I kind of got swarmed by them, and within a couple of seconds, I was down to 50%, and yeah, I was a little worried about that. But let us see what we can find. Let's also look at the map too. Maybe there'd be a way to get across. Because if I know if we get get down to the lava fields or the equator, whatever it may be now, if it has changed, if it hasn't changed, whatever the case may be, uh, at least we'll have flat, un uninterrupted land that we'd be able to cut across the entire equator, getting to where we need to get to. And here things start getting a little bit hairy. This is why I like to fly. I've been adjusting my suspension so many times. Soft, light, so, or soft, hard, soft, hard. 
You know, just trying to get through this terrain and all sorts of stuff. Clearly, this I have actually thought about a third one. Oh, hallelujah. I might actually find something good here. Uh, but yeah, I was thinking about building a, uh, building a different vehicle. Something that would actually be more forgiving on this terrain. But I couldn't really come up with an idea. Oh, I'm going to try to avoid the population for now. I've... I've had a few too many hit and runs, let's just say. So where is this? It's down here. See, and that's one thing I do know too, like if you travel along these ridges or these cliffs, eventually you will find an area that will go through, but you might have to plan it together. Uh, that looks a little easier to get down over there. We'll go over here. We'll check this one out, and we'll check out the other two and see if we can find any new, new buildables. Is that gonna get me through? No, it's not. Hmm. Yeah, I've had to flip this thing over a few times. Fortunately, I do have enough parts on me to <laughs> to make the winch. Uh, and needless to say, I still have a rover, not a satellite. Come on, you can do it. Just climb over that hill. And I probably should put a terminal on here so I can hotkey switching the wheels from torque to speed and vice versa so I can deal with situations like this. And again, that's probably like the 20th time today I've said to myself, now why can't we automatically collect resources if we run into them? Because then it would just be too easy, right? All right. I'm going to take the chance here. I'd like to just go full hog and just jump it and try to land. We all know that won't happen. This thing is definitely front heavy too. At least I think it is. Let's have a look. Surprisingly, it's pretty good. I am shocked. Anyway. We are just around the bend here. Let's see what kind of goodies we can find. Hopefully we don't have any, any anybody watching it. Uh, there's the beacon. Oh, there's what's left of it. Can I actually scan from inside? No. I don't know why that even shows up. But anyways, uh, let us scan this, shall we? I don't think there's anything there that's even worth scanning. Oh. <gasps> oh no. Uh oh. Uh. Fortunately, I always have supplies on me. Now, I'm hoping I can make a battery in this thing. I cannot. Hmm. Well, let's see if we can build a generator. Build the generator. Now, can I build the compact printer? Yeah, I double click when I try. It. Should just shift click. Oh, thank you. And uh, biomass. That's not picking up the grass anymore. And of course, it's raining. Oh, don't you dare go away. Those guys aren't as bad as you'd think they are. They're pretty easy to deal with. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Switch the emergency tool. Just so I'm not wasting batteries. And I am going to gather up the entire tree. Oh, autosave. You know, you'd think you would get more than what you do out of these particular trees. Just because they're so big. Anyway, I need the biomass anyway, so I could actually uh, make batteries. So, uh, let me get that dealt with. Hopefully the rain will be gone, and I shall see you in a moment. Okay, I got some batteries. They actually got printed pretty quick. So, let's reload this thing. Uh, beacon, oh yeah. yeah. Let's see what this says. The amount of damage on the electronic system suggests that... Anita systems have been hit with the same mass energetic wave as the planet's surface. The disruption, disruption of Anita systems and sudden disappearance of human scientists from the planet's surface is probably connected. 
Hmm. Interesting. I'm wondering what they've got up their sleeve. Now, do I actually get anything out of this? Nothing. It's just a solar beacon. Oh, well. Three parts. There isn't much here, but you know what? It's better than nothing. I don't know if the mechanical parts are any cheaper than what they used to be, but glass and circuits are always good. Oh my god, so many parts here. And we have another battery. Yay. Anyway, uh, I'm going to finish up taking the rest of these parts, and I shall see you at the next two wrecks. All right, we're almost there. After me spending 20 minutes trying to get my rover unstuck and back on its wheels for 20 goddamn minutes. Uh, as much as, as much as I enjoy this game, I'm going to say it. Driving's always been shit, and it always will be shit. That's why I prefer to fly. Unfortunately, I don't have any airblades right now, so I'm stuck dealing with this. Oh my god, I, I think I've spent two hours in this episode, like off camera in this episode, trying to fix my goddamn car rover because it's either been stuck in a place and it won't get proper traction because it's sitting on a rock and can't exactly adjust the terrain all that great. I know it could be better, but that's besides the point. Anyway, we are here finally. Let's see what we have. And nothing I could actually use. Go figure. Except some bees. And yeah, as you can see, I'm still a little beaten up from uh, getting crushed by my own goddamn rover. Uh, stupid jacks. I'm complaining because I want to. Okay, nightfall. I can hear something sniffing around. Something big, visibly, is really poor at night. Animals are becoming hostile. I don't intend to become a part of the menu a la carte. Sooner or later, I'm going to have to venture out into the wilderness. I have water, some dried fruit, but that's not going to last long. I'm getting hungry. God, I never thought I'd say this, but I miss cafeteria food. Seriously, I do. Sure. Anyway, take that. Take that. And where's that beacon? Over here. Oh. Really? You won't let me scan that one now? Uh, let's uh, use this. I think it's because it's inside a block. Maybe. At least I think so. Oh, I guess got that one already. All right, we're not too far away from the other one. Uh, is there anything here I really need? Low center of mass is on this side. That doesn't say much because these things here are extremely heavy. But we'll take it out anyway, see if there's anything underneath. Let's actually start with the top. We'll get some free parts while we're at it. Why not? There's nothing here of any use. Maybe it was an old beehive? I have no idea. Well, the fact of the matter is, this should be... Yeah, nothing left. Except for that. What am I? What? Except for what? Nothing, because it's gone already. Alright, the other one's not too far away. I will leave the beacon there, just... Just because. Alright, this one should be just over here, and I'm... I'm almost going to guess that this is going to be the same. I might have to be uh, actually looking for these symbols here. The actual man-made wrecks. There's a man-made... Oh, yeah. Same thing. But you know what I mean? The icon might be a little bit different. But you never know. Now, where is this one? <sighs> I'm going to do this right now. Let's get out. Let's put a terminal on this thing. Okay, I'm going to stick the terminal right up. Yeah, we'll put it right there. Why not? We'll go fill that in. We'll connect, the, oh, connect U to the U. And now I can go ahead and hotkey all the thingamabobbers, the wheels. Go to the wheels, hotkey. Uh, yeah, toggle transmission. Hmm. What shall I use here?
let's use minus. Okay, toggle transmission, and I'm going to do that the same on all four of them. So toggle transmission, minus, and I got to make sure it's actually a key I'm not actually using a recorder with. And this is just a quick toggle. Okay. Now we can get out of here, and we should be good. Let's actually bring up build vision so I can actually see that it's working. Okay. There we go. All four. Perfect. Thank you, Cream Balls. We love you for that. Anyway, uh, what am I set on now? Speed. Good. All right. Off we go. I do realize I could put more wheels on here. Get more speed. Well, whatever this is, it's a big one. More bigger than the last one. And I think this actually might want to, might want to be one of the older ones that they had in before. Where it's like a part of a base. Yeah. And that's what it looks like. All right. Let's see what we got. What do we got? Nothing to scan. Okay. What are you? That's a weird connector. Can't scan it. What does multi-tool say it is? Oh, it's a small tank. I might actually leave that there. We'll have to get, get the mover tool here one day. Ooh, a printer. Oh! <gasps> Hello. So did they actually change the model on the thing? I am sorry. I thought I was actually getting thing actually getting what I was scanning. I didn't know I got a reward for actually scanning this thing. That's cool. So we have solar panels now. Is there anything else around here? Oh, there's the solar panels right now. Oh, that's why it was showing up as a scan, because it's part of the structure. Well, you know what this means. We can get some solars on our buggy. And this is just to help us charge when we're not actually going anywhere. Uh, let's actually put the other with the slanted one on here. I know I'm building these things and I probably don't even have the resources for them, but we'll find out in a second here. Oh, that's a stroke of luck. Oh, wrong color. And I'm out of battery too. Red, so it's faster. And maybe it's going to end up being more top heavy. Uh, is there anything here I want to take as far as items? It's all basic stuff really. Anyway, got our solar panels. Uh, so what I think I might do is I might... I'm going to scout around a little bit here and see if I can find any others. And I'll bring you back if I find something. Okay, we're just coming up to the next one here. And there it is off in the distance. I realize it is getting a little dark, but another one showed up. It's still going to be a little bit till we get to that one. So we're going to check this one out. And then I'll head off to the other one, uh, bring you back when it's daytime, and we'll probably end the episode there, depending on where it goes. Hello, there's my miner. That's not what I want to do. And, and, because I know this actually requires parts, uh, thank you. I'm going to take it home with me. Just because it's supplies, it's parts. I think this was actually expensive. Yeah, the Mark II Composites, the SC Electronics, and the Mark II Plating. Cool. Do I scan that one? No, I don't. There is nothing in here to be scanned. Uh, a couple of j journals, data pads, whatever. Uh, nothing in there. Uh, inventory is jam-packed, so let's go deal with that. And let's go let's check out these journals. I was watching the shadow there. I thought there was something moving outside, coming to get me. We're actually getting a lot of those. That's really handy. Unless they seriously change the <laughs> the cost on those miners. Uh, let's put that in there. Sure. All right. Let's see what the old data pads have to say. I like the hot box. The wreck container. Oh, that's cute. 
little panels taken off too. Uh, we're going to take everything. Oh, we, we'll read this. Can't stop thinking about... Can't tell, I can't stop thinking how many people died on that ship. Yes, we knew the risks, but no, but no training can teach you what to do when your friends are begging for their goddamn mother. I mean, you have to save yourself, but how in the hell did it, we even get here? Get, not got. Isn't this all too convenient for comfort? A team of elite scientists with tens of thousand, with ten thousand people in stasis on a massive colonization ship. That suddenly changed course without knowing why and crashed land on alien planets swarming with life. People on Earth will think we just went off the the, the relay grid or something. And uh, Congenia will s issue a nice clean statement. Thank you for your service, Maynard. Maynard has been up to something big. Sorry, I was uh, tripping over my tongue there. Oh man, there's something seriously wrong about the way we got here. We're on our way to Tau Ceti, but Captain suddenly changed the course. Terry did a recon on a newly found magical planet and never came back. We had he heavy interference and everything went crazy. But the way we got here, did Congenia know about this? And what the hell happened to Terry? That's a good question. Who is Terry? Anyway, uh, that is that. That is that. Okay, so yeah, it's dark and I shall meet you at the next wreck. Okay, we're coming up to the next one here. The sun's just about to come up. Don't like that red sky, though. Never know what's going to happen, but surprises are always good. And I was thinking about it. Someone was also mentioning, I think like I said earlier, that someone had mentioned that it's possible to find the radar around. So if we just happen to find that, that's going to make things so much easier. Because then at least I can be scanning the area and see where safe places are to cross and... Yo, yada yada yada, and there is nothing here. Really, there is one more wreck that showed up just over here. We're heading back the other way now, so maybe we'll actually find something. But what is here? Where is that beacon? Right here. Nothing to scan, and it doesn't look like there's any boxes to loot. Not that I see. Uh, yes, build vision always helps too. What are you? Oh. Oh, yeah, the suspension counts as its own center of mass. I forgot about that. Well, no containers. There's more of these guys, and uh, I've had enough uh, enough of them for one day. <laughs> Believe me, I've uh, I've had more of my share of those guys for today. Anyway, uh, off to the last one. Or the next one. It's weird how... Oh, yeah, because the beacon's in the way. <laughs> like, what we're looking at, it's like, why is it doubled up? But anyways, I'll bring you back unless I get stuck, so I'll see you shortly. Okay, that was a close one. I'm bombing down the hill, not realizing there's a lake here. So it looks like I gotta go around. That's fine, that's fine. Again, this is where the scanner would come in so handy. You're not the scanner, the, the radar. And honestly, I should be using that scanner to be looking for things. But, you know batteries and whatnot. Would it be nice if the Ashi would come out with rechargeable battery packs instead of having to make new batteries all the time. You make the battery and then they have a special battery charger that you put things in. Similar to what Subnautica does with the the power cells and their ion batteries. Just a thought anyways. Uh, if you do like that idea uh, maybe drop a suggestion in the forums to them. Upvoted about a million times. Until BC sent you. Anyway, uh, oh god, this is terrible. This is terrible. Am I even going to look to the right one? I think I am. Let me check the map here. Nope. I want to go to that one. So, yeah. It's going to be a bit of a trek around the lake. I shall see you shortly. That was another thing I know they've done too. Uh, that gray rock there, I know for sure. This one might be too, but they're empty rocks. There are no minerals in those, which I thought was actually quite interesting. Uh, and I'm gonna say this: I actually like where they've gone and what they've done, and you know the whole having to explore to do anything. Well, not necessarily do anything, but uh, actually make progress. 
It's definitely a good touch. I admit it was pretty easy. Usually, you go outside your spawn area, you find like the dirty ground like this. You drop down a couple of miners, which took you five minutes to unlock the entire block catalog. All you needed was like more or less like half a, a dozen plates, a dozen frames, a few circuits, and that was pretty much all you needed. You could take down the, take apart the escape pod too, and get some of the higher tier materials, but. It was pretty easy. And here I am. I am driving. I've been driving for... I cut myself off a little early there, but uh, yeah. How many episodes? It's five. This is episode number five now. I've been driving. Usually by this time I, I'm playing with hover pads and i got something up in the air. Lifting something or what have you. And hotkeying these wheels really came in handy. Looks like I just do it on the fly now key could be a little more accessible but uh, try not to use any keys on my number pad because that's where my recording keys are uh, I can't speak f can't say this 100% for sure but I think a lot of people use just like one key to start and stop recording uh, I used to record with Loilo and it was the same way with that it was I think it w with that program was F11 was your start and stop recording key which isn't so bad, except for the fact that sometimes the program didn't recognize uh, the key press. <laughs> so I was recording the stuff I didn't want to record, and I wasn't, and I was cutting out the stuff I actually wanted to record. So, yeah, it uh, just how it is. But even then, it's no different because sometimes I'll hit the wrong button to start recording or stop recording, and it's just because I used uh, uh, the uh, multiply and divide symbol. Ooh. One of these ones. Too bad we can't scan anything out of here, but it's resources. That's the big tank, too. I think I'm going to leave that one, too. Uh, where is the beacon? The beacon is... Underground. There you are. I had nothing to scan anyway, so whatever. Alright, well, this is uh, free material. I think these were high tier stuff, weren't they? Let's see what we get out of this. Composites. Uh, the SC electronics aren't too bad because that's actually, I think that was, uh, I think those were silver that we needed for them. Not too sure. But we haven't seen any more beacons show up. Uh, I'm not sure if I kept going this way, I might find something. But uh, we are running a little long on time, so I think we're going to end it, the episode here. Uh, next one, we'll probably end up heading back to the base and see what else we can find. But we can, you know, if we can at least find some hover pads, I might be able to get get something across the water, uh, just because of the fact that I have been finding supplies and different things so you know I don't have to worry too much about the printer at the moment right now it's a matter of getting titanium and I'm not can't even remember if you can get the titanium up north or not uh, as far as I know that was level yeah 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 down where the titanium and gold was which would be as far as I know closer towards the equator like this region here but unfortunately I seem to have this the strip of cliffs and water right across here and as much as I'd like to build a bridge all the way across we know that's not going to happen but with that uh, let me check the time here yeah I think that's a good place uh, to call it uh, we did get some progress on, done today got the miner which is good uh, it's stuff we can't actually make but I have them well I got the rest of it at home oh no they are I have enough to build one miner. I might have some more of these at home. I'm not too sure, but I know we need the next the next tier printer for that. And then what else we got? So oh yeah, we got the solar panels, and I think that was it. Oh wow, AL ALMs for the conveyor connectors. Well, could be. That's not as bad as the quantum electronics you need for those things. But I knew those things were expensive to begin with. But yeah, there we go. Got some progress done. Not the 
progress I want. I'm still st stuck on land, but never know what the future will hold. But anyways, I thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.